Hey guys, this is the Effects Guy, and today we're doing this. interesting tutorial and uh, so let's get started so I have my items uh, my project files over here if you want them you can get them in the description down below yeah all right let's kick off so create a new composition uh, I'll call it product uh, for the sake of this tutorial and 1920 1080 yeah all right so uh, you come over here uh, we have our sneakers, ah, they're pretty good looking, yeah. Alright, so you come here, you get this shape layer and create it around this box. Something like this. Yeah, then you come down to rectangular, rectangular path, and go to the roundness. You will increase this a little bit, about, about 20. 20. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it looks looks nice. I like. It. Right. So you scale this down a little bit. Have your nice looking shape over there. And the next thing you have to do, you change the color. Put the color to a uh, more darker color. Yeah. All right. That looks. So, you come here, you go to your shapes again, and you select the polygon tool, you click, uh, hold Ctrl and Shift, and move up, yeah, have a rectangle like that, yeah, pretty nice, change the fill color to white, yeah, uh, it's nice, so, uh, get your pen tool, and Move this if it's not in the center. Usually it's in the center, but in, in case it's not, you <laughs> yeah, you put it there. Alright, so we get our rectangular tool and duplicate this and get the top layer and make it white. So basically what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna alphabet this here. So uh toggle the switches in case uh, this part is not there and uh alphabet. Yeah. So what we have here, we have a polygon tool moving on inside the way it wants, and then outside it's not safe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Alright, so next thing, uh, you gotta locate this here. Select the uh, position, and give it a keyframe, move a couple of frames. This coming in like this, but then we need a little bit of rotation to make it uh, a fun thing. Alright, so I don't really need so much, that would be So it comes in rotation. Yeah, it But we need to make it a little bit small. Yeah. So you need to select all the keyframes, right click, the resistance, and release them. Uh, you come over here, select all the flares, move this in, and move this in as well. So let's see what we have. Pretty nice. Although we need to. Looks pretty nice guys. 
So, alright, um, we have that done with, and it looks really fantastic. We have, well, I love it. I could watch it a hundred times. Anyway, uh, so let's get to the next step. So, uh, when I get done with that, so let's bring in our apparatus. Let's go bring in the shoe. We could, uh, it's best in what you're selling, uh, maybe you're doing it for a customer. So we have our shoe right here, but we need to cut out this, this thing coming in. So, uh, get your paint tool, the light stick, and uh, just a little bit of paint. So I'm gonna just turn this up. Alright, so when we're done cutting it out, so you press M, you get your mask and press the key back. Yeah, so we have it out like this. You can select your mask again and adjust this a little bit because you don't have this point. Alright, so we're done cutting this out and we have our shoe looking pretty nice. So we can turn this layers off. Alright, so there we have our shoe. And uh, what we're gonna do next is that we're going to insert our tips. Yeah. Anyway, let's first animate the shoe part to get out of it. So, what are you gonna do with the shoe? Uh, you gotta hit. You, you get this stuff falling in again. You can't, you, you duplicate it. Yeah. When you duplicate it, uh, you wanna alphabet this with the shoe. I'll show you. Get here and alphabet. So uh, this thing has to be below the shoe there, and we have something like that. So the card is blank, and then when it transitions with the polygon, then that's when the shoe yeah, looks pretty nice. Alright, so we have something like this. Wow, guys, this looks pretty cool. Alright, so uh, when you're done with this, then we have to put it on next. Yeah, alright, so I'm going to put it next. So, uh, and you can type in sneaker. So we have our sneaker that is a letter of a guest city. So sneaker, then we get a little bit of sneaker. So this just comes in to make it a little bit uh, decorated. Yeah. Alright, so I come over here. Alright, so we have something like that. And you put this to medium. Right, so, and then the next part 
put put in a beam up underneath the uh, how much the sneaker is. Yeah, so the customers need to know how much the sneaker and uh, we put it to about. Uh, Alright, so uh, anyway, uh, so seriously, So uh, we have some of that, one of that we have to get by the way. Yeah. It's my reward, but I'll put it to Ariel. Yeah. About there. There. Yeah. Looks nice. Looks nice. All right. So as soon as you're done with this, so we have to animate our text. Yeah. So we have to animate the text. So uh, select. I turn this down to zero. I select the keyframe. I move it a couple of frames up to there, I guess. Yeah. And I move this to 100. So let's see what we have. Wow. That's nice. It looks pretty cool. Guys, this is nice. Yeah. Alright, so you're gonna give your text a little bit of a shadow. Uh, so they look like it's on top of something, and yeah, so last styles and good drop shadow. So drop shadow, you drop this down, you increase the distance of the center, it's about 10, and the size to about, uh, about, let's make it 8 foot. Yeah, alright, so, so we need to make it and see that, yeah, it, it's kind of a shadow to it, it's kind of really be seen, but it's so you come over here and you need to like uh, you need to you need to give it a little bit of a shadow down there uh, beneath this this polygon. Yeah, we need to give it some light. Alright, so let's uh, drop the shadow down. That, really, that looks wow, that looks nice. Just increase the distance a little bit for about seven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's nice. So get to the, uh, the mount, you're gonna give it some weight since it's a price. <laughs> Customers definitely have to see. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're doing good by the way. So we have our speaker. So you select all of this, you control shift, uh, control shift C, and you put it all together. I'll just put, I'll just call it from. Alright, so we have something like this. I like it. Very nice. So it comes in, it's something. Yeah. It's. Wow, I, I like it. Just turn this to where you want to do it. And you don't want to let it so much. Yeah, then it will be having transitions of all of them. Yeah. So we have something like this. 
So you make uh, many products like this, and you make uh, you make the same cutout, and uh, you make different shoes, different bags, and all different products. You put them together, it will look really nice. Yeah, and then you will come to the camera part where you need to make the transitions. So um, you get to. I'll make. I'll make. Uh, and make sure it's a do not cover. If it isn't that, it won't work right. So you can select this tool and you will see it perfectly. Uh, when you move, click and hold, you see this foreground. Wow. Pretty cool, right? So you can transition this in any way you want. This, when I move this, I'm moving the position. So uh, you should you just come here to the camera and select feet. So it's the position you move it. I'll show you. You move this back and uh, where you want it, and you do something. moving the position so you need to move the yeah you, you need to to keyframe your camera your camera's position yeah and you make as many transitions as you want yeah uh, so guys that's it for today uh, thank you very much for watching uh, if you want the if you want to really see the whole thing uh, please let me know in the description down below but basically this was the whole idea when you're making a product like for your company you know, uh, you're making it for someone and get you know, be paid for it yeah so you just keep on making these transitions coming in like that uh, you could uh, select this right click keep from assistant you easy ease and have this software of coming in yeah right Together, and uh, you have a really smooth transition of, the, of your camera moving. Yeah, it's pretty nice, guys. It's an interesting effect you can do for a lot of things. Yeah, so try it out today. Uh, I hope you love this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. I always want to know what you think about my tutorials, my work, guys. Please. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Please consider subscribing such that you don't miss out on any of the interesting tutorials coming up. Yeah, and I'll be uploading month uh, every week. Uh, yeah, there'll be new videos coming up. So I hope guys you want you to share with your friends. And yeah.